Sharon, Micah, good evening to you both. There was about a three hour window tonight when Caltrans finally escorted residents up the mountain. It also helped hundreds of students get down the mountain. They had been staying at various winter camps. So people have been waiting for days just to get home. And as you mentioned, San Bernardino County even issued a local state of emergency asking for state and federal assistance to clear some of the mountain highways, the local streets. And there's no telling when this area will reopen to regular traffic. Around 6 o'clock tonight, stranded drivers started putting on their chains, preparing to head up Highway 18 toward Crestline, which has been closed because of several feet of snow on the other end. Caltrans escorted 15 people up the mountain at a time. Jeffrey Dominguez has been waiting for this moment since 9 this morning. What has it been like waiting and not knowing? It's uh, It's been stressful, uh, to say the least. Uh, they finally gave us the word uh, maybe 10 minutes ago in the pouring rain, so it's been it's been rough. <laughs> He's one of many who found themselves either trapped at home or unable to reach home. Hundreds of students from the Irvine School District were finally evacuated from the Poly Institute in Running Spring and one other winter camp nearby. Alicia Shelley says her daughter was supposed to come home on Thursday but got stuck there because of the storm. I considered driving up there a couple times just because it's, you know, you feel like you have more control that way, but you really don't. I mean, I've never driven in you know, in a blizzard. I've never driven really in snow before. So, so I just didn't feel safe kind of making that trip myself. San Bernardino County issued a state of emergency saying there's no timetable for when the mountain will be open or safe for local travel. The same goes for State Route 330. Caltrans didn't We're have enough people to, up. as well as uh, equipment to keep up with the storm. So they were able to just got backed up. Meanwhile, Fawn Duncan became emotional, telling us how she's been stranded for four whole days, forced to stay in a motel, unable to get to her children who are back home in Cedar Pines Park, themselves running out of food and supplies. I want to get home. I just, I'm... And Caltrans plans to announce its next round of escorts tomorrow around 11 a.m. But it says if traffic becomes a problem, it might have to cancel future escorts. It wants to remind people that this is no time to be traveling in this area. It's really focusing on helping those people who have been displaced. That's the very latest from San Bernardino County. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. All right, Rachel, thank you for that.